no science to prove why I believe what I believe. It's just, astrology has not led me wrong. Is there a way you can tell if you're wrong or right? Okay. Well, yeah, because I, I speak to my clients. Oh, ow, what? Ah, what a start, Jesus. That actually hurt me. What a, what a start. I'm Ian, uh, I'm an adventure astronomer and astrophotographer. What I love about astronomy is sharing the passion of the stars with people. I question science all the time. That's the whole point about science. When I hear of astrologers, I think of people who kind of need guidance. Astrology is not a science. Science is something that requires proof, something that you can reproduce. I think astrology is just a belief system, and I don't think it makes sense. It's not really a science. I honestly believe that astrology just makes people happy. That's based on it. Uh -oh. Hi, my name is Trenton. I am a spiritual analyst. I definitely believe astrology is a science. We have discovered so much about the metaphysics of things and energies that are Check hidden. I think my see, 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 I think that is one of the problems. I don't think you can. Um, this is just my opinion. When something is the truth and something uh, uh, and it's is right, it doesn't matter what you believe and what is your opinion on it. It's really irrelevant. It's just the truth or it's not. Saying that, oh, I believe it's a science. Well, I mean, you you have the right to believe things, but it's just wrong. It's just, it's objectively wrong. I, I study benefits people because the greatest gift that you can give someone is self-knowledge. It gives us our own little map of ourselves. I believe that zodiac signs are totally relevant, but they're just a basis of a much deeper practice. They're the tip of the iceberg. Step forward if you agree. Oh, wow. Astrology is a sham. What's a sham? Guys, yeah, stop, stop. Eh. What's a sham? What is a sham? A scam? A sham. What's a sham? A scam? A scam. A fake. A bogus? Okay. You can believe whatever you want to believe in as long as, you know, it makes you happy, it doesn't hurt others. Um, but personally, I've just never really understood how especially since we both, we all study stars, how something that's so far away and that could potentially be gone could affect you when you were born. It just doesn't make sense to me scientifically. One of the things that they don't account for, it, astrologers, is as time passes by, there's this thing called precession where the, where the Earth's axis actually makes like a rotation. And these constellations were set like 2,000 years ago and they still assume that these are the ones that are where, you're, where the sun is when you are born. And also you can't split them apart equally because each constellation has different sizes. They don't, you don't have the sun in one for 30 days. You just don't do that. And look, let's be honest, you can't divide people into these neat TTS. categories. There's almost 8 billion people on this planet. You're gonna tell me that there's only 13 categories of what we got, what we are? Exactly, it doesn't make sense. Right, I think sham is kind of a, it, it, it's a negative word, but from a scientific- A negative word? No, you can say how it is. It's a fucking scam. Uh, um, it's a disaster. It's fucking brain dead. Fixed standpoint. We don't see that there's evidence that we can't make predictions on people's lives based on the positions it's a of the stars. It's uh, um, for sure, dude. Can the disagreeers come forward? Oh, they disagree with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I practice Western tropical astrology. And so the tropical okay, system send them more. Send them more. Cut the mic. System Did of astrology <laughs> goes off of the equinoxes and the solstice. It has nothing to do with the constellations, what you know of astrology in the Western world. I am also specialized in tropical astrology, and that's just one system in astrology, right? There's tropical and sidereal, those are the two systems, and they're separated by 23.4 degrees. It all depends on what system works for you. So does that mean you have like a choice, or this, you, like, you see what like, everything means, and you're like, okay, I wanna pick that one, I wanna study that one? Um, it's based off of what really resonates, right? And you'll know what resonates with you. You'll get this inner feeling through your chakral system, um, and the you'll know what? right away. Whether you resonate with Vedic astrology or Western Western astrology depends on whether you're more interested. Guys, the chakral, the chakral, guys, is not the, the chakra like fucking Naruto or some shit? Well, they have like ports in their body and they like channel the, the like that, but in real life? On using astrology for predictions or whether you're more interested on using astrology to understand yourself and validate and affirm the things that you feel in yourself. You say astrology, meaning that the stars do matter, mm. right? So what 
part do stars play in Western tropical astrology? It's not so much being born around the time that the constellation is in a certain place in the sky. You have this chart wheel and it's divided equally in 12 parts. So the rising would... Okay, a birth chart is a snapshot of the sky at the moment of your birth. It reveals the precise location of each of the planets and I which constellation months, they occupied as you entered the world. Crazy, so hope you're doing well. Hello, Mr. Dot Cow. Hello, chat. Uh, yeah, XQCL or something. But how can you really tell when you enter the world, though? Like, I, I, feel, I feel like... Well, mm. Be dependent on that wheel. What sign and not constellation but what sign depending oh, your on the tropical dates, divisions then. is on the eastern horizon then <laughs> the rising is the first house or it's the cusp of the first house and there's 12 houses what does that mean because i hear that and again I, i'm not familiar with it it just kind of sounds guys 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 if i speak big trouble i feel like i feel like um I have an idea about this but if i say it we're gonna go down a topic that i don't want to go down to and it's gonna be a disaster but what so what rising is, would be dependent on that wheel what sign and not constellation but what's well well if this is if this is like um well okay i'll say then it's not it's it's just, it's, just, it's just a thought it's just a thought it, it says oh, at the moment of your birth yeah that that makes sense but it, but if you think about it uh like um like wouldn't it be wouldn't this be more inclined uh, I, I've, if, no, I'm not. Just forget Divided it. equally just, 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 in 12 parts. It. So the rising would be dependent on that wheel. What sign, and not constellation, but what sign, depending on the tropical divisions, is on the eastern horizon. Then <laughs> the rising is the first house, or it's the cusp of the first house, and there's 12 houses. What does that mean? Because I hear that, and again, I, I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, the day you were conceived is what I meant. Is the day you were conceived. It, it, exactly, the bio... I, I get it, they want to make a link with like the stars or whatever, but if they were to go down that route, it won't be like of the moment that you were conceived, not the moment that you, that you start breathing, because then what happens when you, when you, you, you boom? What, what happens when you, when you boom? It, it's not, not much of a difference, is there? The, the, the stars then if they were going to affect something it would have been at, at, at the end eh, not at the boom i mean you really it just kind of sounds like a lot of gibberish, gibberish. Yes, yeah. yeah absolutely <laughs> if you think of a clock the hands pointing to the numbers is not time they just represent time so it's the same when you think of the stars the planets where they are in the chart are not the energies that guys 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 the end eh, the end eh is the whew, the boom is the whew, ah, eh, that's the boom i meant I mean, if, if the stars were going to play a role, let's say, according to their philosophy, it would be at the end, eh, not at the boom. Does that make sense? It makes, it seem, okay, whatever, I just watch the video, please. They're just representations of those energies. It's just the realm of possibilities that the way that you express action in your life could show up. When we categorize different planets in astrology, it's just to give characteristics on the specific energies. To touch on a point that you brought up, like how can we be here and planets all the way out there? How are they affecting us? Energy cannot be created or destroyed, right? We all heard that in our science classes growing up. <laughs> so we are all bits and pieces. That's not necessarily that's true. Not this is, like, essentially, you're talking about like kind of, See, kind of conservation of energy and stuff like that, right? But like we live in a universe that, no. for example, may be infinite. Yeah. We don't know. And we and we never can, cause so cause we're we're limited to a specific distance yeah. to how far we can. Yeah, guys, I think he had he had the coat wrong. I don't think <laughs> it's mad or not. I and guess what I was getting to is we're all bits and pieces of energy. So everything that exists in our universe is energy. I right? think that we're getting confused with our definitions of energy. I think that's mm. where the mm -hmm. like that, we have a different. They're equivalent. Yeah, I get it, but it's just the way that you put it. it I don't. It was not accurate. The definition of energy. It's not. It's not right. Right. They both are true, I get it, but in the way that he used it, it doesn't really make sense, though. And you guys have more of a... In the way that he it's, used it, yeah. it doesn't like make sense. Like a personality, yeah, like that, like yeah, a spirit. I think... Hey, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I have my class too, I'm not dumb. There's a... Uh, uh, for science, like, they, they have to be very careful about how they use the term energy, because a lot of the times it can get hijacked, or even delving in the world of, like, quantum physics, they use the word quantum in a way that it's not supposed to be represented as. My beliefs yeah, are supported by science. Don't you dare. Don't. Don't. 
So, so <laughs> you guys are probably he's like, doing it. Astrology is not a science, mm -hmm. uh, but it is because it's a, it's its own separate um, field. Or astrology has been a practice that has been used for civilizations. What now, is a science to you? What does science mean to you? Now, a science is anything that can be applied to the practical realm. I know we were saying a lot of talk about, oh, this is interpretive, or this could be used for predictive measures, but it is something that is practical, right? I have to use math, and I have to use other basic science skills in order to pull. Can we just get a definition, just real fast? Science definition. Let's just get a, it's, it's, very, it's very brave to come in there. Um, and not uh, the uh, the intellectual and private activity, um, the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Pull up a chart. I'm looking at degree placements, right? I think that fields could use science and still not be science. You could use math and science and it still not be a science. Um, I think so science what's comes your with degree? Uh, I'm sorry, oh, what's science. your definition of science? I think science is comes with fact. There's a scientific method, so you start with a theory and then you prove it at the end. Say we randomly discover a new planet in our solar system, sure. okay? Will it change what you guys Absolutely, believe? because that would, that would be something that we'd have to sit and try to study. We'd have to uh, conduct research on that planet just as well as you guys would have so, to do. You guys so. would just be applying it in a different way. So I definitely look at our field you want to be doing something for two seconds? Well, our, my, well, um, I get it. Is this because he's guys? It, usually, uh, whatever. Believes. I, I'm not. Backed I'm not. by science. I'll let him talk first. No, they're not. In fact, it's the opposite. Most scientists would say that I'm crazy. Do I believe that astrology is a type of science, a soft science? Yes, because I study psychology. I study therapy. There are people who are saying that therapy and psychology are not sciences. I also think that psychology and therapy are soft sciences. They're not rooted in the scientific method. They are rooted more in the person, in who that person is, in the potential of that human being and their energies. But there's a difference there because in psychology, we could see, we could scan the brain and see the chemical imbalances. We could see what's missing. We could see the neurons firing. We could see exact, exactly why things are happening and we could prove that. Well, that's, so, why that but you can't but always we prove can, the treatment. But why that's kind of dangerous. Well, that's that's dangerous. We can also the look at a count. chart. That's not a good we take. How is that a good a take? Chart and look at how the energy. Wait, how is that a good take? What are you on about? Exactly why things are happening, and we could prove that. So, but you can't but always can, prove the treatment. But we can also the look at a chart. We can also look at a chart and look at how the energies are interacting with a person and correlate it to what is on the chart. I think energy. Wait, psychology is absolutely a science, though. What the fuck are you on about? Uh, uh, wait, wait. It doesn't have to be rooted in the person. Did did. What are you on about? You take something, something so simple uh, and treat a psychology 101, okay? Your first as a psychology you take 101, you introduce concepts like uh, a Pavlov, right? Pa Just take um, the salivating dog uh, uh, experiment, right? That's that's literally science. Yeah, it, it, it is absolutely a science. It's not, it's, not a pseudo, it's not a pseudo soft science. It's literally a science though. What, what do you want from me? We agree? Okay and like neurons and, I'm, and I, like I, know, I, I keep different. using energy. guys the dog the dog guys guys the experiment was that um they, they, they take a dog okay and um they make a, 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 a bell ring ding and then um they give the the dog a food okay and then the the, the dog here's here's the bell and then starts salivating because oh my god i'm gonna get a food because now he's being conditioned it's con it's a conditioning uh, a pavlov okay and the dog is that Oh, ding, ding, ding. Now the dog is celebrating. I'm going to get food. And, and, then one, and then after that, once the dog is conditioned to this, to these, this sequence of events, what they do is that they go, they do the ding, 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 ding. But then no wow, food. stars affect my life so much. Wow, it makes so much sense. It sounds too good to be true, except that it's not. Okay. And then, and then, and then what they do is that they do ding, ding, ding. But wait a minute. Think about it. Then no food. They take away the food. The, the food was never there, but they ding, 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 and what happens to the dog? The dog is still salivating. The dog is still on my MC server right? smile. I think you would enjoy. Right, the the dog is, is salivating at the hear of the bell because it's conditioned it, to, to 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 relate the ding, ding to the food. Even though there's no food, 
and that's 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 quantifiable that's that, that's uh, you, you can study that represent it's it's a science motherfucker. It's, 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 oh, yeah. geez. and that's also what i'm trying to say it's somebody had to be like hmm why is that what? why is that energy affecting me in this way somebody had to sit and study these things somebody a team had to do research on these things i don't have science to prove why i believe what i believe it's just, I've been studying this for seven years and I've been practicing professionally for four years. That's scary. And I, astrology has not led me wrong. Like I, I don't miss. Is there a way you can tell if you're wrong or right? Well, yeah, because I, I speak to my clients. I, I never tell my clients like, this definitely happened for you. And if you don't agree, then you're wrong. I'll say, oh, this could be an indication of this. Is this true? And they'll say, yes or if they say no i'll say well maybe it can be interpreted in this different way that's also where the interpretive thing comes in is that's that it doesn't scam. play out the exact that's same literally, that's literally a scam. every time which is why it can't be pinned down by and science. that's why you can't call it a science yeah. Yeah. it's not reproducible science is something that is rigorously tested and it's stuff that's reproducible you have to be able to reproduce results well, what well because i think what she's saying is that interpret differently is that she makes it she makes an attempt that oh, I, I find something and the person says no. Or, or is, it, is it this? Yes. Aha, I was right. Lol. Like, what is, what is that? Astrology is interpretive. So you might misinterpret things because it's not really reproducible. Like, you're not going to always get somebody right. The reason why I didn't step forward for this prompt was because I think it's irrelevant. Like, I think beliefs are different than facts. And, you know, I might really believe in God, for example. I might, right? Um, and that's not backed by science. You know, science is science, right? So it doesn't matter if I believe astronomy, it doesn't matter what I believe, it just is or isn't. Celestial objects influence people's mood. What even is that? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what- I mean, if I'm driving home, maybe I had a bad day and like I see the moon coming up. Like it's a so rock, beautiful. Like a rock. Like, how can that not affect your mood, right? <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. I do a lot of um, astronomy outreach. You know, I show people the planets or the moon through telescopes, or a total solar eclipse that we've seen. We were all like in tears. It was just so beautiful. So yes, definitely things that happen up there can affect. You know how the oh. moons affect uh, bodies of water, right? The closer the moon is, the higher the waves are. The farther away it is, the lower the waves are, right? Um, that's, that's why we have tides. Yeah. Kind of, sort of, right? <laughs> um, but we're made up of 70% no, I mean, water. Correct. The moon in astrology talks about our intuition, our feelings, our emotions. There are so many other planets and celestial bodies that are definitely doing that. So I'm so happy <laughs> that you said yes, because it is definitely true. I'd love to know what you think about the. I, I think this this guy has a problem with the um, with the. Uh, how would you say this? Um, it interpretation. It seems like this guy uh, listens to uh, a, a statement or listens to a quote and says, "Yeah, that's true." Look, because of all of that, lol, and he even moves on. But see, I'm like, well, no, it, the, the quote is applies to this, not this bullshit. But is he, he just keeps true. doing that though. I'd Does love not... to know what you think about the correlation between the 28-day cycle of the moon and the female hormonal cycle. There must be something there. I'm not an evolutionary biologist, so sure, I don't sure, really sure. know. Yeah. yeah, I'm a Cancer rising, so I feel the moon, and I know from personal experience that, yeah, planets affect the moon. I'll have to say I really liked your interpretation of that, because, what, you know, When, I mean, the moment that you stepped up, I was like, okay, I, I know what's coming. <laughs> I, know, I know what it is. She knows from personal experience that the planets affect the moon. <laughs> I do agree on that. I mean, look, Mars is really far away. So what is Mars going to do, like, you know, to, to my moon? It just, it, just, it just doesn't. Even the gravitational force that we, that we experience between planets that are further away, is, it, it's just, it's really <laughs> nothing. Can I ask what makes you say that with such certainty? Because Wait, I'm- Wait, what? That we, that we experience between planets that are further away. It's, it, it's just, it's really nothing. Can I ask what makes you say that with such certainty? Because I'm, uh, I do physics, and so yeah, I know yeah. what, like how gravity, like the force of gravity works. Sure, but we have plenty of um, anecdotal, I guess you could say, evidence. Well, the thing is, if you believe something, right? Mm-hmm. 
you, like you already believe it. And then the thing that you, I, I, I really have to wait, mention wait, is like. Wait, 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 but by definition, she, this, she admits that it can't be admissible to, for, for it to be like the truth, right? The thing that you mentioned about the correlation between like. If it's just anecdotal or and, whatever the. And the moon, the moon is moving away from us. So eventually not it's, not gonna it's not irrefutable in the, same, <laughs> right, right. in the same way. And so what then? I think there's a big thing right now that we're using between correlation and causation. I think that's mm -hmm. another big divide that we're seeing right now. Like when people are like in a mood or like they're really happy and they go outside, and they're like, oh, there's Mars or the moon is full or whatever. That doesn't make sense to me where people can kind of not blame their behavior, but associate it with mm -hmm. what's happening. Like there's a correlation, but we can't see the causation of it. Right. So and that's I guess that goes back to my, um, my argument that I posed earlier about how energetically things are affecting us. We're affected by this energy, even if it's so many light years the, away or if it's right energetically? here in front of us, right? Okay, now what if, I, what if I were to tell you that, let's say, you know, um, Beetlejuice is, what, what is it, like 400 light years away, 600 light years away? If we saw Beetlejuice go supernova, right? Mm -hmm. Some astrologers might say, oh my gosh, that's, that's, you know, affecting us. That happened 600 years ago. Right. So why is it affecting me now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything that you see, like, if it's something that's four light years away, you're seeing it as it was four years ago. Right. Not that's kind of crazy, though. I only can go off of planets that are actually, like, <laughs> like in orbit, like the moon, the sun, our basic uh, planets, uh, including Pluto. Um, that, those are the only things that I really focus on. So let's, let's, just, let's just go back to Mars and, say, Venus, right? Because Mars is has all these, uh, like, really rough and angry qualities or whatever. You're learning, you guys are learning. <laughs> yes, no, and Venus no, has all no, these beautiful- No, ladies, stop laughing, stop, no. Calm and peaceful qualities. Well, what if I were to tell you that if you were to go into Venus and sit and sit there, you wouldn't even make it because the pressure would just destroy oh, yeah, you. No. So why, how is that? How is that peaceful? And you know, like, what, what is that? Like, where does this come from? There are no good and bad planets. I just want to let there. There's a highest expression and there's a lowest expression. Mars is not evil. It can represent aggression. It can represent anger. It can also represent action and motivation. Venus is yet love, relationships, beauty. Bitch, it's a stone, man. It's a fuck. It, it, it's a dude. It's, it's isn't it just a, a rock? Like, there's no. Oh, this is a bad planet. This is a good planet. Like, bitch, it, it's a fucking stone. There's levels here. There's duality, there's highest expression, there's lowest, there's, I just wanted to, cause like, me and the planets, like, they're my, yeah. they're my people, so like, we it's a gas. You know, it's a gas. Let's, let's, true. Mm -hmm. I believe no, it's in not. zodiac signs and their predictions. I definitely do believe is in it a zodiac gas? signs and their predictions and what is. they could bring. And it all depends on how you're tracking the that energy, is. how you're all- Guys, guys, guys it's, been, it's been a while, okay? I'm I definitely up. do believe in zodiac signs and their predictions and what they could bring. And it all depends on how you're tracking the energy, how you're also communicating whatever it is that you can get from the energy to a client. That's basically what my job is as an interpretive astrologer, so is to break down what I see on the chart and to communicate it in a way that you would understand. So I just that, like was hesitant about coming up with predictions because prediction. yeah it's mm. the word predictions i i'm not of the belief that astrology is necessarily a science because i don't consider myself a scientist and yeah. astrology is say. such an interpretive practice that using astrology as a predictive tool sometimes does more harm than good it can create a lot of anxiety and sometimes it is inaccurate. You're going to get human error in some sort of interpretations. I have a lot of friends and a lot of people around me who believe in um, astrology. Um, but my thing is, I've had so many of them be like, what's your star sign? So I, I always tell them, well, guess, what do you think I am? And then it always ends up being wrong or like I'll finally tell them afterwards and I'll be like, I'm this. And they're like, that's so Virgo of you. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, so yeah. that's why I don't personally believe in those star Absolutely. signs. I know that you guys discussed that, but that's why I don't disagree with what you guys said, um, but that's why I disagree with the prompt that was read that's, out. With sun star astrology or sun sign astrology, uh, that's where it can get carried away. It's actually the rising that's most important because that starts your chart. What the sun represents the, is our did, own did, sense did, of did, self. I don't think I understand a single word you just said. Everything he just said for me was just malarkey. And when you first meet someone at a party, how much are you going to be able to know off the bat from your first impression of them mm. what their sense of self is? Exactly. Mm. What I think is that because we live in a world where we don't know people at all, if you have a way to be able to somehow describe who this person is when you just first meet them, it makes you feel safe. 
And that's why I feel like, you know, a lot of people take to astrology. People, like, they think astrology puts them in a box. Like, oh, you're a Capricorn. This is the only way you can behave. This is the Absolutely. only way you can act. It's like, no. Astrology is very much about the possibilities, not necessarily this is what you are, this is what you do, this is how you act, I don't like you. No, it's just like, this is what could possibly happen. This is the expression you could possibly take. Would you say that <laughs> everyone has, like, all possibilities are available for everybody? Your yes. Scorpio in well, I mean, to a certain extent. Laugh. Even if you are, like, say, a Virgo son, your Virgo son- Chat, chat, the, usually the only, the basis of what she's saying, okay, is just to make sure that they can never be wrong. Is that, is it, oh, yeah, but we didn't interpret it this way. Oh, what, we, it's about interpretation. It's just about saying, just saying, oh, today, possibly, you're going to meet love or meet success, but there's also a possibility that you won't. But you might. But you know also, you also might not. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I guessed it right, but you didn't? Oh, shit, I called it. I fucking called it, dude. Bam, dude. And it's just like, it's, a, it's so dumb. I don't know. By a certain relationship with, say, Mars. So it's not like you're just this and you can only be this. It's like, no, you've got this. You've got a, you know, sprinkle of something that's of this it's people don't like me putting in boxes which makes sense but that's totally not what we're i don't think it, it, what we're doing it does though right. kind of sound like you're you're still compartmentalizing well, things to the point of like there's seven billion eight billion people in the world how can you categorize them in these boxes but the deeper that you go into astrology the more nuanced it gets and the more personalized it gets the other side doesn't fully understand the study of celestial objects oh come on guys Okay, D no, stop it. Stop right there. Stop it. Stop. Go back. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so of two minds about this. <laughs> you guys are doing something that's very scientific and uh, practical in what you're studying. But just because something isn't practical or scientific, you can still study religion, you can still study the Bible, the Torah, I don't even think it should necessarily be equated to your study. For like astronomy, like there's scientific rigor into how we understand and how we know what we know now, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants, all the people who have studied it before us and now we know and we can prove what they've studied. Yeah, yeah but the problem with what she's saying though, guys, 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 even though the basis of what she said is correct, the way she's applying it is incorrect, in my opinion. Because the celestial, ob the celestial objects can be, I, I think, studied for what they actually are and what they're actually doing, what they were and what they're going to do, right? They can absolutely study that. So saying that, making a bunch of like whatever conclusions and studying those, you know, like, well, that's not really what the question is. It is, is the study of those actual objects, not the, your interpretation of it, right? No and we can prove what they've studied is correct. It's very like factual. I'm from my point of view as an astrologer, like I'm like, yeah, no, things are definitely factual based and like astrologers sat down and they, they've come to a common consensus of what things mean based off of where they're placed, <laughs> what energies are placed on them. That's what gives them more of the component of what the planet may mean. I think again, that's where the divide is because when you guys could think certain things are fact, but I hear you keep bringing up that it's interpretation. Mm -hmm. so there's so many things going on way far away that we know about that, like you said, you don't really have the necessity to know about. I think that there's a lot of stuff that you guys interpret that we've disproven in a way, or that we've seen evidence for just going completely against it, negating your guys' points. Um, so I think that's kind of where that divide kind of comes from. One is the loneliest number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would never sit here and say that, you know, like you don't know what you're talking about. But also like, I don't think you can fully understand anything. I think you can go to school. I think you can do the work. I think you can have a very good grasp on something, but you can never fully, like we're talking about the stars and the universe and the planets here. You can't fully <laughs> understand n nothing in regards to that. You read the stars, you read the cosmos, you understand all of the sciencey things. You said Beale just, I was like the character? Is he, kind of like, <laughs> like, is he here right now? For me as an astrologer, I study the stars, yes, but I also study people. My job is to work with someone one to one. I'm so showing you what I see. Yeah, but that, that's a scam, them though. But I'm also showing you what I see from you as a person 
would you say astrology is a lot more along the lines of like human psychology? Psychology, yeah. yes, absolutely. Okay. Depending yeah. on the system that you are studying. Yeah, definitely. It kind of means like that what, what astrology is, is like for fulfillment in terms of what benefits humankind. I mean, physics, astronomy literally brings us, you know, cell phones. That's practical. But we also, as human beings, like to have things like art, for example, music. I need music. If I didn't have music, then I might, you know. So it's kind of like there's a fulfillment thing. And I, yeah. I, I, I would, I, I get that. My belief is that balance is extremely important. And the way I see it, like logic and science and all of these things are one end of a spectrum. Like, to get a little spiritual, it's like yang energy. And we're representing, in my opinion, a bit more of the yin energy, the human element. And I think that it's also important to do what you can on a person-to-person -person basis, and that will help humanity. Oh my great. What? Hey, thank you so much, and that's a wrap. You can on a person-to-person -person well, basis. And well, but, well, but she's not helping them though. She's just collecting money from them. I don't get it. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't help, help anybody. It doesn't help me manage to collect a so paycheck much, from people's fucking yeah. delusions. Yeah. What? We didn't kill each other. Okay, that's a disaster.